Titanfall coming this year. But in what form, there's a question mark about that. Since he clearly stated no Titanfall 3. At this time, we have this. This is quote at this time. We love being able to experiment in this crazy universe. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Right. Yeah, I don't have a lot of experience playing that either. All I know it involves big mechs, which sounds really cool. It involves wall running and wall jumping, like some of the Call of Duties. And Vincent Pella is the CEO of Respawn. Respawn is a team that originated with Modern Warfare 3, uh, Modern Warfare 2, no, Modern Warfare 3, World War 2, and um, what's the other game? Uh, Advanced Warfare. That's where they came from where that team came from but uh even though us three never played the game really we don't have a lot to add to it what are your thoughts that he said there won't there won't be no titanfall 3 at this moment due to apex releasing but there is a titanfall experience releasing this year what do you think it could be that's the interesting thing about this No thoughts, Kip? No, I really don't have any thoughts. Okay, what about you, Jason? No. I think it's going to be probably a remaster of Titanfall 1 and 2. I can see that. That's one of the options I think it could be. Another thing it could be, it could be a... Well, I heard a rumbling about... uh, It could be that... I don't know if you guys know, but Apex Legends takes place in the Titanfall universe. I did not know that. So what this could mean to me is that maybe they're going to have characters from Titanfall featured in Apex and probably mechs are going to come to Apex and maybe it's going to get a full release with the storyline and maybe Apex is like a test. Maybe it's like, you know, like how Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is missing the story, Uh the single player experience. What if Apex Legends is the battle royale mode to Titanfall that is releasing this year? What do you think, Jason? Could be. Sounds like it's possible, right? So topic number three guys There's a very Hype one for me Yeah Yeah. The movie director of the upcoming Let me see uh, Yeah the movie director of the upcoming Metal Gear movie In the works right now Got a chance to play Death Stranding and he says we are not ready. That's what he said. <laughs> this could be that good, really. Yeah, and then oh, he's. Wow. This is his quote. He said he was blown away. Stated it's a miracle, which sounds very hype. <laughs> wow. But on top of that, guys, Norman Reedus, the actor of The Walking Dead, that is also plays a major role in that game, Death Stranding. I believe he might be the main character. If I'm yeah, not I'm sure incorrect, is because according to all the all the screenshots and the uh, trailers, it looks like Norman Reedus will be the, the, the uh, main character of that game. So. Well, he got a chance to play the game. What was that? Uh, I was gonna say it just it looks really really good. Like I mean, just, it looks really interesting. It does. For sure. Interesting, scary. Yeah. But this is gonna this is gonna twist both of your minds up and the listeners. It's crazy. Norman Reedus also got a chance to play the game. And he said he's never seen anything like it in, in entertainment. And he also stated it's a very positive game. 
Instead of eliminating everyone around you, you bring everyone together. That's his quote. I have a lot of thoughts on this shit, man. I want you guys to give me your thoughts on, on these these uh, quotes and yeah, what they thought of the game. From what I've seen by the trailers, that actually makes sense, though, because you're trying to avoid whatever those creature things are. So I would imagine it would make sense that instead of trying to separate everybody, you want to bring them together, maybe to either get away from those things or combat them or I don't know, but yeah. Man, my thoughts are crazy, but I'm gonna let you guys give me your thoughts because my mine are crazy, man. <laughs> I have some crazy ideas of what it could be. Let's start first with uh, with the movie director of the Metal Gear movie. He said we're not ready, and he said it's a miracle. Do you think he's hyping this up, or do you think it is gonna be that incredible and unexpected? Honestly, I think what he said is probably genuine, to be honest. Like, I really believe that what he said is what's actually the game. Which is crazy. Yeah, I believe him also. What about you, Jason? I have to agree with Kip on everything. Um, crazy, but awesome, you know? Yeah, with uh, the quote that Norma read is... Norman read this quote, ins instead of eliminating everyone around you, you bring everyone together. That that blows my mind. I'm thinking, what popped into my head right away when I read that was uh, Journey. You remember the game Journey? Yeah. What about you, Jason? Not quite. No? Not quite. I never played it for myself, but I've watched a lot of YouTube plays, so I, I know what it's about. I've, I've heard, heard about, about it, it, but not, yeah, yeah, same here. I've never really played it for myself. I tried it, I just couldn't get into it It's a really short experience, like two hours long And it has a, a crazy ending That made people emotional And um, it just wasn't for me I could spoil it for you guys If you want to know what happens But um, it's nothing really major Minor spoilers, you know I mean, I could, you know, I could say minor spoilers For the listeners If, if you both guys are interested Because it's something, you know Interesting are you guys interested in hearing about what the ending might be? Uh, by all means, hey, I, uh, not gonna bother me none. <laughs> what about you, yeah, kid? Okay. Yeah, Alright, so listeners, minor spoilers, well, major spoilers, the ending of Journey, basically, as you're playing through the game, you have no idea that the other people that you encounter are not NPCs, but it's actual real people. And when you end the game, you realize that the person that was making the journey with you was a real person and their name appears above the character's head. And that's when you realize we're actually playing with the real person online. Oh, wow. Which is fucking incredible. It sounds incredible. That's amazing. Right? Oh. So, my thoughts on what Norma Rita said, man, it's like so many thoughts in my head, but one of them is... As many of you have seen in the trailers, the gameplay, well, basically the gameplay, you see Norman Reedus carrying bodies around, right? Yeah. I was thinking, what if the bodies you're carrying are actual online players that you're trying to help keep alive <laughs> and bring them all together? Like, maybe, like, they said he's like a mailman, right? But like a mailman of the future. So m maybe yeah. he picks up bodies and takes them to a place where they could be resurrected. Maybe what it could be is, like, some of us play as the carriers. And some of us are the, the ones being carried once we actually die. Like in Demon Souls, like the Souls games, when your spirit dies, you go and pick up that spirit and you come back to life. So I'm thinking, what if the dead bodies, the sexual players that died in the game, and you gotta carry them to a place where you can resurrect them? Yeah. Sounds, sounds interesting, right? Sounds, sounds interesting, yeah. man. 
Yeah, definitely. For anybody listening to the podcast, post in the comments below what you think it could be. This is something that we have to think more deeply about because uh, we definitely don't have the answers. And Hideo Kojima is a very secretive person. And he's always very creative. And you got to expect the unexpected with him at all times. Okay, guys, topic number f- number four. There's a new a new 2K studio that was started by the creator of Dead Space. He's currently working on a mysterious new game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's the creator of Dead Space, and he came from... He, he also had part in Modern Warfare 3, World War 2, and uh, Advanced Warfare. And this is his own studio with 2K. And I'm hoping that what he's creating secretly, it's a remake of Dead Space. I will be so fucking hyped for that. That would be amazing. That would be the best. Does. I'm actually playing Dead Space right now. I have been yeah. playing it on uh, PlayStation 3. And I'm like, mm. when I was younger, I read the game from Game Boy. And I couldn't okay. get into it at the time. So I picked it up later on, um, uh, around, say, about a month ago. And I'm playing it. And it is amazing. My honest favorite thing about that game is the ambiance and the sound. Oh, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I agree. Is that incredible? It is a great, great game. Are you familiar with this, Jason? Dead Space? Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on um what this mysterious game could be or what would you like it to be? would like to see it be another Dead Space, to be honest. I would like to see another one added to the, to the series. Although I do kind of wonder where they would take it. Because I'm pretty sure that Dead Space 3 kind of explains you know what they could do also they could just uh, have a new protagonist in a different planet just like the last of us 2 type of deal but not not really similar but a different um different protagonist with a similar type of situation but in a different planet because we know the galaxy is really deep and there's a lot of places that it could take place in and honestly I would love a Death Space 4. I would even love a remake of all three. Yeah. With everything. You know? I would buy that day zero. I would buy it day zero. <laughs> you know? I would buy it. Once they announce it, I'm pre ordering. I'm, I'm buying that. I love those games. I love them. Yeah, but good for him, man. He got his own own studio with 2K, which is that's a major major move. Oh yeah, definitely. Now, topic number five. During EA's, EA's fiscal call, they revealed a new need, a new need for speed, and a new Plants vs. Zombies is in the works right now. Definitely like the sound of a new need for speed. Yeah, I'm sure a big fan of that series. Right. Did you guys play the last Need for Speed? I'm interested in that. It's been on sale a couple times, and uh, I didn't pick it up. Payback, it's, it's, it was alright, it's worth playing, no doubt about that, Need for Speed Payback is definitely worth playing. Um, I've had the uh, other one, the only one I didn't play was Rivals, uh, it okay. was on sale last week. Yeah, both of them been on sale. I, I almost came close to picking it up. But Me too. <laughs> yeah, man. Is right, that... Rivals is like the only one so far I don't have. 
but as far as payback goes, it, it's worth playing. It's worth playing. It, it, it's got it's got its fun. Uh, it's got a fun time to it. So. So what is it? Uh, it looks like really interesting. The payback one. Um, how does it differ from the past Need for Speed games? Like what? It, what? It, what impressed you? Like what? Uh, they have brought back the drag racing portion of it. I love the sound uh, of that. I know, last, I know the last few ones they uh, excluded drag racing, but this one they kind of brought the drag racing back. Okay. Uh, Anything else that's different that you were not expecting? Uh, I would have to say, really, instead of it being involved around one protagonist, like most Need for Speed, it involves yes. like protagonists. I had no idea about that. I thought it was only one guy. Mm, no, it, it's. It's evolved around uh, three different people. Okay. Uh, they work together as a team, but each one has their different race style, like one for drag and uh, off-road uh, racing. The other one will do like drifting racing. Uh, And what is the goal of the game, bro? He have another one. He have another one that mm -hmm. takes all the heat for the cops. Uh, okay. Yeah, they, each one had. They they play different roles in each one. So yeah, instead of just like one person doing all the things, you got three different people doing different things. And what is the goal of the game, bro? Um, the story basically you are uh, taking down. A, uh, uh, I would have to say, not, not like a mom, but like something, something Ch like Chelsea that. Cartel, bro. Say Cartel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cartel. Cartel, yeah. Um, basically, uh, at the start of the game, you were set up. Uh, okay. You were supposed to take a car and you got set up. And so on. So you're getting, getting your, so you're basically getting revenge and getting the car back and, it, 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 you'd have to play it. It's definitely worth playing. Is it pretty much a racing game? Like, it's just racing? There's no out-of-vehicle experiences? It, it's... It's got everything in it. Maybe it's got... It's mixed with everything. So you're saying it's it has out-of-vehicle experiences, bro? Like, like, you can get out the vehicle? No, it doesn't have out-of-vehicle, okay. but... Excluding the out-of-vehicle, uh -huh. it, it's a pretty different it's pretty good taste in the racing series like so one you would come to expect in most racing but it's definitely worth playing what's the major you know, the major difference between this and uh past Need for speeds like one thing that you could tell the listeners that is different and is to be expected from this this title mm. or it's not that much different not, not much different, okay. but you're gonna get what you want for it out of a racing game. It, it's definitely fun, though. Um, so you recommend it? I highly recommend it. Of any Need for Speed you're gonna play or pick up, definitely get payback. Payback, okay. Payback. Payback is where it's at right now. What are your thoughts on this, Kip? Do you have anything to add to uh, payback? I never played it, I have no idea. Neither have I, so I can't really add too much of anything. Okay. So what are your thoughts on the new uh, Plan vs. Zombies game? I'm thinking, I'm hoping that it's Plan vs. Zombies Garden Warfare Part 3. <laughs> are you guys familiar with uh, Plan vs. Zombies Garden Warfare? No, I've never played it. No. I, I've never played it. I've okay. heard of it, though. Okay, let me break it down for you. Basically, Garden Warfare... Picture is like Fortnite. It looks colorful. It doesn't necessarily... It's not necessarily similar to Fortnite. It's just the colors. It, it really pops. The zombies and the plants 
have that art style like Fortnite does. Oh. And it's a third person multiplayer online online game where it's almost like like a horde mode. That's what it is, a horde mode. You have your team against the other team, and one team places the zombies, and the other team places the plants. Oh, okay. And and you could choose from a variety of plants. I'm talking about all the plants that are in the Plant vs. Zombies franchise, and oh. most of the zombies. And you could customize them, and you could add different loadouts to the zombies and the plants. Oh. And the maps are really cool, and it's like, unlike any horde mode I ever played, it, it reminds me of oh. Gears of War or of, of like those type of horde modes, where it's like a really cool environment with a lot of detail, a lot of color, and it has a lot of modes like multiplayer, like a team deathmatch, like capture the flag type of thing, like all these modes, oh, and wow. it is, and it is such a fun game for adults and kids and i highly recommend you guys check it out if it's on sale or if you're interested in uh in a horde mode that it's colorful and it's more bright and happy but also really cool with the weapons and the special abilities it's really really interesting and a lot of fun and i definitely recommend both of you guys and the listeners to check it out if Okay. So, topic number seven. 